In this video, we're going to take a look at what a square root is and how we can work with it. A square root is simply the opposite of squaring. You might think about it as unsquaring a number. And we show square roots with this little symbol here. It looks like a division sign with a little tail at the front. And we read that as the square root of 25. And what that means is there is some number that when we square that number, the answer is 25. And there's not really a process to calculate the square root as much as we just get familiar with. We know that the number squared to give us 25 is 5. And that question mark, that unknown thing is 5 because if we square 5, we get the 25. And so because 5 squared is 25, the square root of 25 must be 5. Square roots are asking, what number squared give us this number? So for example, if we were to see the square root of 49, we're asking us what number squared equals 49. Well, you're probably aware that 7 squared equals 49. So we'll say the square root of 49 must equal 7. Square root unsquares something. We can follow the same process if the numbers get bigger, such as the square root of 225. You might not know what number squared equals 225, but you can do a little guess and check on your calculator. You might try 12. 12 squared is 144. Let's kind of show what we're working our way through here. 12 squared is 144. That's not quite big enough, so maybe something a bit bigger. We might try 14 squared. 14 squared is 196. Still not quite big enough, but we're getting pretty close. So let's see what 15 squared is. 15 squared equals 225. So if we know that, then the square root of 225 must be 15. And we have our solution. So square root is simply asking us what number squared gives us the number we're looking for. That's a square root.